If you're looking for a high quality 3D rendering software to work with your Revit or SketchUp models, there's a powerful, available for free photorealistic rendering engine, the D5 Render. With D5, you can skip the limitations of generic rendering tools and enjoy a range of dedicated features for producing high quality images. It syncs with your model in real time and offers easy to use tools for setting up the perfect scene. In this video, I will guide you through downloading and installing the D5 Render engine connected to Revit or SketchUp and use it to create beautiful photorealistic images in no time. The procedure and the steps to install this on both uh, Revit and SketchUp are very similar. So for this video, I will uh, guide you through the steps for installing and activating this uh, extension on Revit. And you can do the same for SketchUp as well. Now, there are two parts uh, we need to download and install. The actual program and the plugin extension. So open any web browser and in the search search for D5 render and either use their official website or directly in the URL type the web address directly that is D5 render.com this will take you to the website from the top menu find the download section click on download and it will open the download section of the website. Now remember, there are two files that we need to download and install. First is the actual D5 software, which is right here. Click on download and the download will start immediately. And the second file we need to download is plugin extension for the program we are using. For instance, here, this is the SketchUp plugin. There's a 3D Max. Uh, Rhino, here's our Revit. So click on download and this will download our second file which is the Revit plugin extension. Once both files have been downloaded we can go ahead and close the browser and uh, locate the two files we have just downloaded. Here they are in our downloads folder. Two files, the first one is called D5 Sync Revit. This is the Revit plugin extension and the other one d5 render setup is the actual render software this is the first one we want to install before installing the revit plugin so go ahead and double click on the render d5 render setup agree to the privacy policy and agreement and click install now uh, it will first download the installation files before actually installing the software and depending on your internet connection it might take somewhere between a minute up to three to four minutes to completely download and for the installation to start. It has now finished downloading and it's actually now installing the software. And once it's finished, you will see a message installation completed, run D5 render now. We don't need to open uh, yet uh, the software. It will also create a shortcut on your desktop D5 render. So we can just go ahead and close the installation uh, window. And uh, what we do, uh, we do need to do now is run the Revit plugin extension and install that one as well. So double click. I agree. I will install it on Revit 2022. Install and uh, it's really fast, installation complete, hit close. So now that we've installed both the D5 software and the plugin for Revit, it's time for us to open up our Revit application. A message will pop up asking us if we want to allow D5 converter to run together with Revit. Click on load once or always load. I will, cho I will uh, choose load once. And uh, let's let's open the generic architectural five that uh, came along with Revit. Now, before we do anything else, let's have a look at the top Revit menu. You will see 
that a new section has now appeared. It is called D5 render. It wasn't there before. And this is actually the plugin extension we just installed. Let's open one of our uh, 3D views. That's it. And now what we want to do is uh, export our model, our 3D model from Revit into D5 so that we can render it in the D5 rendering engine. To do that, select the D5 render menu and click on Start D5. This will export our complete model, including materials, cameras, lights, everything that we have in our model. We will export and open it up with D5 render. Yes, I want to open it as a new project. And here is our complete model. We can use standard navigation and uh, orbit uh, with our mouse to find a proper view that we wish to render. Now in this video we will not go we will not have an in-depth look in the D5 uh, render software uh, just a, a few quick things that I wanted to show you first uh, let's see how the sync works between Revit and the D5 um, uh, program let's say we want to remove these three windmills from the back let's go back to our Revit model and let's select the windmills and actually delete them and what you want to do is come back on the d5 render menu and click on, on sync model go back to your d5 and you can see it has already been synced and the windmills have been removed a uh, couple of other things let's uh, tilt our view like this go to the environment uh, menu you can change the position of the sun. Let's put it somewhere there, somewhere midday. Uh, clouds, you can change the amount of clouds you want to have and the thickness and the density. Let's remove some of them. We don't want a lot of clouds in our render. You can also have uh, a wind showing. It will show if you have trees and uh, precipitation for rain if you want to simulate rain let's turn it off the d5 comes along with its own assets uh, materials library even though our model has been exported from our revit and all the materials that we chose within revit together with the cameras and the lights uh, all the settings we had in revit were imported into the D5 um, software. Uh, you might want to fool around with materials and change some of the materials. You can click on the assets button here. Uh, since this is a free version, we only want to see the free available to us uh, materials. And there's a big list of materials you can choose. Um, just click on any, let's say, let's find aluminum let's open up the metal uh, section polished metal metal choose this natural gold material and i will change our uh, our glazing aluminium from black i will change them into gold so select the material you want and just hover over any group of uh, elements for instance you can see now that the all the aluminium are selected click on it and you can see that they have changed into gold now to do our first uh, render, let's hit escape, to do our first render, there's an image icon here on the top right, click on it and this will open up the settings for still image rendering, there's also video, so we are in the image settings, a uh, few settings you can choose, let's select the lowest uh, resolution and all you have to do is click on render on this button here and the render will ask you where you want to save your image give it a name click save and the rendering process will start immediately 
for this kind of model it will take about a minute for heavier models and more complex it might take a little bit longer a render has been completed we just did a very basic first render without changing any of the settings there are a lot of settings and tools you can use with d5 uh, render you just uh, you will need to spend some time um, navigating through all the options and finding out what each one of these uh, do let's have a look at our first initial render this is what uh, D5 uh, produced for us without making any adjustments to the lights um, or environment settings and it's uh, really impressive um, it is no comparison to the generic rendering engine that Revit has and even so what SketchUp offers as a generic render and this is part of the samples D5 is showcasing on their website to show the quality of their renders and it is obvious you can see how powerful the D5 render engine is so uh, procedure is uh, straightforward open your model with Revit select the d5 render menu and click on start d5 this will open the, your whole model inside d5 and you can make adjustments to the lights and uh, prepare awesome photorealistic 3d images and it's completely free and if you want to install d5 uh, for sketchup the procedure is exactly the same uh, what you need to do is follow exactly the same steps we did as with the uh, Revit installation. You do the same with SketchUp. Thank you for watching.